I want to bring in Chris Steyerwald, Fox News Digital Policy Editor. How you doing, buddy? Good morning to you. Uh, we can talk about immigration. I mean, you can throw a dart at the board today, but some, when you think about the president leaving this hour for Argentina, oftentimes these trips don't amount to much, Chris, but there are big targets here, China and Russia and Ukraine. So what's a good case scenario? What does the White House get from this trip? So the G20 uh, hasn't amounted to much. Uh, over history. Uh, this was a response to the financial crisis. Uh, this is too big of a group to functionally do anything. When we think about groups that do stuff, it's usually three or four countries working together, maybe seven. So what this offers for the president, what this offers for this administration, though, is what can he do piece by piece, leader by leader, as he goes through. How does he respond to Putin? Putin has been totally unchecked. He is uh, doing whatever he pleases. He is acting, you would almost say rashly, or at least like a man who's afraid that he's not going to face any consequences for these bad acts. So you have that part. Remember, they were trying to interfere with our midterm elections. They are acting provocatively uh, with Ukraine. They are doing all of those things. So he's got that piece. Then he's got the China piece. So far, China has walked slow. They have not overreacted or been intense in their response to Trump's tariffs. But it's hurting them. And pretty soon, they're going to have to take some action. OK, here on the tariffs, here is the tweet, guys, from the president. Billions of dollars, he writes, are pouring into the coffers of the USA because of the tariffs being charged at China. And there's a long way to go. If companies don't want to pay tariffs, build in the USA. Otherwise, let's just make our country richer ever than before. There is a long way to go. That's the sentence that sticks out on my, in my mind. Um, I, I don't know in this meeting on Saturday night as to whether or not they, they come out with a joint statement that says they're working toward a resolution or whether or not this could go on for months. And my guess right now, it's the latter, Chris. Uh, the Chinese are patient players. Uh, we know that. This is, they do not act rashly, uh, and they probably have been waiting to see whether domestic pressure on the president or an economic turndown or what happens with the U.S. economy. The other thing I would say is, if all these billions of dollars are pouring into our coffers as a consequence of these tariffs, why are we still running trillion-dollar deficits? My goodness, the federal balance sheet is so far out of whack, it's ridiculous. Holy Crocano. <laughs> there it is. Sometimes it is said that it's good to get outside the D.C. bubble. And oftentimes that's, that's healthy for a president who gets himself locked into that uh, environment there. But when he comes home, he's still going to have this Mueller matter, et cetera. And this was his latest message on that. Did you ever see an investigation more in search of a crime, he writes. At the same time, Mueller and the angry Democrats aren't even looking at the atrocious and perhaps subversive crimes that were committed by crooked Hillary Clinton and the Democrats, a total disgrace. So he has that to come back to. Is it good to get out of the bubble, Chris, for a bit? Well, yesterday on Twitter, he was saying he was going to lock up Mueller and they're going to imprison all these people for treason, uh, including, for some reason, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I don't know what she did. But anyway, um, there's the Twitter Trump where he says this stuff for his base to make sure that he keeps them white hot hatred for Mueller and the deep state and the conspiracy theories and this stuff. And then there's the stuff that he says when he does interviews with people like Chris Wallace uh, and he does and he talks to the rest of the country, the 70 percent of the country, when he says, I'm not going to fire Mueller. Everything is going according to plan. This is all fine. So it's the two messages. It's the one for his devotees, and it's one for the rest of the country. OK. You sound like I some croconeau in your voice. I've been hanging out with the caravan. I got it from Griff. I got uh, it from Griff. I got you. Senator Kennedy on immigration from Martha last night. Watch here. Roll it and listen. The insider elites and the nature cure quacks up here in D.C. lecture the president every day about the rule of law. And yes, the rule of law is important. But how come it doesn't apply to those who are trying to break our immigration laws? I mean, you could drown in the hypocrisy. Get a quick word on this as to whether or not you think there could be some sort of deal cut between the Senate and the House on that funding bill, Chris. The obliviousness of Democrats on this subject, their inability to understand how this not only reinforces the president's point, but undercuts their own on immigration means that they're not likely to come to the table because they don't understand how they're being disadvantaged. They don't know how this is hurting them, so I don't think they're able to really talk turkey yet. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll talk to you real soon. Chris